Hey guys, it's uh, Josh McDonald. Uh, recording this video for the second time. Hopefully it goes through. Um, so this video is... Uh, it's not going to be an informational video. More of a promotional video. Well, really I'm answering some questions for some people. Uh, you know, you guys know if you can follow my channel. I do a lot of programming specifically for SEO tools. A lot for my own purposes and a lot for my own clients. Um, you know, Amazon, eBay arbitrage, uh, you know, keyword tools, uh, domain tools, um, and not, not small tools. Like, these are generally scaled to, like, you know, high, high levels. And then in this video, I'm just making this to answer uh, a lot of the questions coming in, you know, emails, Facebook, twi tweets, and all this stuff, Snapchats, even. People want to know more about the custom software that I use, that I built that I personally use to uh, you know find some expired PBN domains so I built this software summer of 2014 so it's been running for you know runs forever um, I have tens of thousands of domain names decent domain names on here now um, so first of all this isn't for like you know if you're beginning in SEO this, this software is definitely not for you um, you know, this is, these are for the big players, agencies, guys that are trying to build hundreds of sites in a network. Um, you know, we're not talking hundreds a day, we're talking thousands a day. So, uh, if you're smaller scale, feel free to check out some of my other videos. Um, but if you're, uh, you know, a big time agency or something looking for a better source of high quality domain names and you have the budget to back it up, uh, just hang with me tight here. Um, requirements for this software first of all is just a uh, it is web based well the interface is web based um, but it runs on a server a Linux server uh, doesn't need anything fancy half a gig of RAM is plenty for, for these scripts um, I'm an efficient coder uh, you know I've been coding for six seven eight years um, anyway so this software you can log into it via PHP my admin. Some of you may have heard of that. It's just a all it is. It's just a uh, interface on the web, so you can access it from any computer, and it just lets you anal or it just lets you look at databases. And databases are of course just tables and rows, and tables have rows and columns. Um, and that's where you'll view all the data. So it's just kind of like the software runs in the background. You boot up your browser and you take a peek at what's there in the software whenever you want. You close it out, it it's all runs on, uh, you go digitalocean.com, server costs $5 a month. Now the software itself, that was a server that we were just talking about, the software, um, you know, we're talking thousands, not not tens of thousands, but single thousands, um, you know, three, four, five, six thousand, depending on what you need. Um, I do customize it around you and then, you know, I'll give you a base price. Then, if you need more features, I can code them in. I've worked with, you know, Moz, Majestic. Every it's, I can handle whatever you need. Um, but generally, it depends on you know my workload. So just get a hold of me, um, joshmcdonald.net. Hit contact on the contact form and just fill out an inquiry and tell me you're interested in this. Uh, but now that we got all that stuff out of the way, I'll just show you how the software kind of works, give you a brief overview of what you need to know, if this is, you know, you can figure out if this is something you're interested in, um, and then we'll go from there. So, what I've had up here for the past couple minutes, uh, excuse me, I have, a, I have a cold actually, I can't remember if I mentioned it in this version of the video, but, um, so, there's, uh, you can see there's basically five boxes here and these all represent a column in the database so it's a column which has the domain name in it so the first one the percentage means this is kind of like basic um, SQL queries it's just database queries you don't need to be a programmer to know this that's why I actually provide like four or five videos on how everything works um, so I completely like teach you it's like an hour of videos of me just teaching you you know the basics of how this works um, you know it's not a pre interface we're all about value here so not gonna you know fancy anything up. This is just great domain names at the end of the day. Um, so the first column, um, basically the only one you really need to know is this like percentage one, and that means that the domain name contains this string or this word. So if you have like a a domain name, or if you have a if you need to find domain names on like a, like coffee like coffee tables and chairs, just type in table and then hit go. Um, it'll bring up all the domain names in the database. Um, about table, what contains table, right? 
and the same thing. Well, we'll get to the second part of that in a minute. Um, but that's all you really need to know for that part. You can leave it blank if you don't want to set it. A date checked, that's just, that's you don't need to worry about that, but it, um, that's just for the script itself. Um, expired, so expired, uh, the values are one and zero. So if you want to look at expired domain names, which you always do, you always enter in a one. That means, yes, it's expired. Um, and then the backlink, another thing, you know, if it's tables and chairs, table and the backlink, generally keywords can be found in the URL of the backlink. So this is just backlink um, in my table just means like the t one of the top news backlinks. I, I save one of them for you to see, you know, whether it's Forbes or, you know, um, it's all do follow. So I don't save no follow uh, links. For example, if you're crawling Huffington Post, you know, now that there's two versions of Huffington Post now, they have the, you know, the regular journalists who can post, um, you know, do follow links. Now they have the public beta version, which is all no follow links um, and the articles don't get indexed. So, uh, you know, it won't, it won't look at that second beta platform. It'll only stay with the main journalist platform on Huffington Post if you use that website, for example. Um, and then it, it'll check for do follow links. So, uh, the last one is domain authority is what I have this program for and you know less than greater than equal to whatever you know you want domain authority of at least 15 or or 15 or equal to 15 um, that's the main part there um, parameters that you can input in the software I show you how to do that in the actual training videos but not in this I'm not going to get into diving through the code and such but you can enter in like uh, um, you can enter in you enter in a list of domain names, a list of news websites that you want that you consider authority. So I send you like a list of like fifty or twenty five. I honestly haven't counted, but it's somewhere around there, a few dozen. Um, and you you can enter in your own. You know, if you have a certain niche, you have a certain magazine. You know, I have the basics in there, like you know, Fox News, CNN, New York Times, uh, Day like New York Daily, like all the main LA Times all the main big magazines and uh, big blogs and then it kind of uh, bases what you want off of those or bases what it bases, bases what it finds off of those um, okay so next we are going to look at a couple screenshots of yeah so let me make this fit all in the screen here for you Potentially. There. So uh, at the top here, you can see um, this is just this is just a search with no parameters. So it's just going to show all the domain names that it's found. That's continuously checking if they expired. Um, so it's at one million. It's, it's found one million domain names. Um, and then you can see, obviously, this column expired is all zero. So the ones we're looking at are not expired. Um, but, you know, if uh, this is curiecorp.com expired, it would uh, let you know. And I could set up, like, email notifications and all sorts of stuff. You know, if you want to be notified instantly when a domain name, you know, with Trustflow or domain authority over 20 or 30 or 10 or something, a certain niche, you know, I can set up email notifications, too. That's something we can all negotiate out. This is highly customizable. That's kind of why you're paying the highest price point because you can, um, you know, customize it to how you need and, and I do that for you. Um, so, yeah, these are these are just some, and it shows you this is just a format. So domain, um, you know, if, some, if one is spammed, you see one spammed, you're checking some out, you can delete them from your list and get them out of there so you never see them again. Um, domain uh, expired, and then this is the backlink, of course. So you can see, you know, Wired, Gizmodo, um, the Guardian, VentureBeat, Huffington Post, Guns.com, NBC News, Washington Post, Mashable, Pop Sugar. Um, it, it's all there. So, um, and then the last column, it checks the domain authority if and only if uh, the domain is expired. So it's not going to rate. It's not going to waste. Like I said, I'm an efficient programmer. It's not going to waste your Moz credit. Um, if you if you uh, if it's not expired. Second screenshot is here, and let me bring this in. 
no, it's not this one. It's this one. Jeez. Okay, so this is the next one here. So this one is actually has expired. So I obviously I blurred the domain names and blurred the backlinks just so you know there's definitely someone watching this video that's looking to steal my backlinks or my domains uh, that I have for sale. So I just blurred it out. Um, and as you can see, I have 32,000, almost 33,000 expired domain names with decent backlinks. You can kind of see them globalnews.ca, you know, if you're in Canada, .ca, uh, MSN uh, news, you know, real estate niche, uh, whatever. It's all here. Um, and then I sorted by domain authority. So you can see, like, I have a bunch in the low 30s available right now. They'll be registered. The thing is, when you get into the 30s, as anyone knows, um, who's been in the back in the PBN space for a while is when you get into the thirties of domain authority, you know, the amount of spam, spam domain names, you know, increases exponentially. So I wouldn't be surprised if all these domain names, even if I shown them all to you, if these were all spam right here, just because, um, that's just kind of how it works. You know, all the stuff that's, that's been sitting here in my database, you know, this stuff could have been sitting here for this stuff could have been sitting here for the past two years, you know, since I started the software, um, and no one's grabbed it and it could be for a reason uh, just because it's spammed um, but that's not to, that's not to say if you scroll down into the high 20s or if you're you know ref, if you're checking this regularly or you have email notifications that you'll still find some good ones in the 30s um, you know it, it, it all depends on what comes available um, you know I don't really control what comes available but I do have software that helps you to sort through and find the best stuff of what's available um, so yeah, basically once you get your search in, if you did like, you know, bikes or whatever, then you'd have, let's say you're looking at like 50 domain names in your specific niche. Um, and you know, you need 10 sites, so you just start going through them, punching them into, you know, Majestic or some, or Hrefs, and then checking for spam manually because, you know, I've, I mean, I've tried to automate spam checking, but it's so, so hard, it's not easy. Uh, even being a fourth year in computer science and you know specializing in data science and algorithms of all kinds um, it's it's not an easy thing to do um, <clears throat> excuse me so again if you're interested in any parts of the software let me know we can work on quote customization um, you know I don't sell this to a lot of people I, I, I've honestly only sold it to one person so far uh, just because my price point is firm is not negotiable um, <clears throat> you know, you get what you pay for. This is a high quality software. Um, no need for updates. The thing about this is it's two year old piece of software. So there's actually no needs for updates. Um, because it's honestly been running great for me for, you know, the last update I might have coded might have been 12 months ago. And you know, it's, it's been running great. So there's no updates included. Uh, that said, um, well, something majorly breaks, of course, I'm going to look out for you. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to implement new features for you for free. It's all custom quote. Um, but the software runs great. Um, has been for two years. No maintenance really needed. Um, and that's, that's, that's about it. That's everything I have to say about this. If you have questions, joshmcdonald.net. I'll uh, link up my website in the description. And you can go there, click the contact button to just say, you know, I'm interested in your crawling software. Uh, you know, two more questions. I read, I watch your video. Make sure you say you watch the video. I'm just going to link you to this video. Um, say I watch your video on it. Interested in purchasing. I have these two questions. Um, you know, when are you available to set this up? Um, and then we'll, you know, I'll be in touch and we'll figure something out and get you some awesome domain names. So, in the meantime, <clears throat> in the meantime, think about what you know. 32,000 expired domain names could do for your uh, SEO business. And uh, let me know. See you in the next video.